Now, you might say, well, why, if it was used for business, that's when I should get the deduction because then I pay taxes as a normal, ordinary business expense. And you might, you might get the taxes deducted there, but not on the Schedule E, I mean, A in that case, not an itemized deduction. You might then be able to take the deduction on a Schedule C or whatever the business form was that you used for the business, uh, which could be legitimate. You, you know, that would be make more sense. However, if you use your home for both personal and business, we're gonna see that we run into this kind of confusing problem again in that we might have part of the deduction that maybe we can deduct on say a Schedule C and part of it that then possibly could still be deductible on A, noting that we can't double dip deducting the same amount in both places. Okay, so but only if the taxes are assessed uniformly at a like rate on all real property throughout the community. So no special kind of arrangements and, and whatnot. You, and so in any ways, and the proceeds are used for general community or governmental purposes. In other words, the money that's being used is not like it's going into a fund for you or something like that. It's used for the general governmental uh, purposes of the state or locale. So our publication 530 explains the deductions, the deductions homeowners can take. So you could take a look at that for more detail. Don't include the following amounts on line 5B. Foreign taxes you paid on real estate. So we're talking about United States uh, taxes here. So we're talking about the, the property taxes in the United States for real estate. So itemized charges for services to specific property or persons, for example, a $20 monthly charge for house uh, per house for trash collection, a $5 charge for every 1,000 gallons of water consumed, or a flat charge for mowing a lawn that had grown higher than permitted under a local ordinance. You can see this kind of makes sense because that's not exactly property tax. It's kind of like maintenance or required maintenance kind of things that are basically taking place in essence. Charges for the improvements that tend to increase the value of your property. For example, an assessment to build a new sidewalk. So clearly 